So here we have the integral of x times the square root of x plus 6 times dx. And in order to solve this integral, we are going to need to use u substitution. Typically, we use u substitution when we have a composite function within the integral. In this case, we have the square root of x plus 6. That is a composite function where x plus 6 is the inside function and the square root is the outside function. And so in most cases, you're going to want to set that inside function of the composite function equal to u when you use u substitution. And so if we do that in this case, if we set x plus 6 equal to u, we'll have that u is equal to x plus 6. And so then what we do for u substitution is take the derivative of what we set equal to u with respect to x. And so the derivative du dx will be equal to the derivative of x, which the derivative of x is just 1, right? When you take the derivative of a variable to the power of 1, it's just equal to its coefficient, which in this case is 1. And so we'll have 1. And then the derivative of 6 is just 0, because the derivative of all constants like 6 is 0. And so now we have that the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 1. And so then our next step in the u substitution process is to solve for du. And so if we multiply both sides by dx, we will have that du is equal to 1 times dx, which is dx. All right, and so now the goal here for u substitution is that whatever du is equal to, that needs to be found within your integral so that du can replace it. Because remember, what we're trying to do is to rewrite this integral entirely in terms of u so that we have a simpler integral that we know how to integrate. However, in this case, if we were to replace just dx with du, and we replaced x plus 6 with u, because that's what we set it equal to, we're still going to have this x on the outside that we haven't rewritten in terms of u, right? If we were to rewrite our integral, we would have that this is equal to the integral of x times the square root of u times du, right? We replaced x plus 6 with u, because that is what we set it equal to. And we replaced dx with du because that's what we found that that was equal to. However, this integral is not entirely in terms of u because of this x on the outside of the square root. And so we cannot integrate this function just yet. And so what we can do is ask ourselves, well, what would x be equal to? What can we replace x with? Well, if we go back to what we set u equal to, we have that u is equal to x plus 6. And so since we have x in this equation, we can solve for x, and that will give us a function in terms of u that is equal to x, right? So if we solve for x over here by subtracting 6 from both sides, we will have that u minus 6 is equal to x. And so now we know what x is equal to in terms of u. We can replace the x in our integral right here with u minus 6, and then our integral will be rewritten entirely in terms of u. And so what we'll have is that this is equal to the integral of u minus 6 times the square root of u times du. Okay, so now our integral is entirely in terms of u, and so now we should be able to integrate it and find the solution to our original integral. All right, but before we can integrate, we need to simplify our integrand here, or the function within our integral. And so the first thing that we're going to want to do is to rewrite this square root of u to be u to the one-half power, right? The square root of a value is the same as taking that value to the one-half power. And so what we'll have is that this is equal to the integral of u minus 6 times u to the one-half power times du. And so now what we can do is distribute this u to the one-half power through this quantity by multiplying it to each term, and then we will have a nice integral with two terms that we know how to integrate using the power rule for integration. And so if we continue our work over here, we will have that this is equal to the integral of u to the one-half power times u. And so remember, when you multiply two variables, you add their exponents, and so the exponent of this u is one, and the exponent of this u is one-half. And so if we multiply u to the first power times u to the one-half power, we will add their exponents, and so one plus one-half will be three-halves. And so we will have u to the three-halves power. And then we will subtract u to the one-half power times six. And so that will just be equal to six times u to the one-half power, and that is all multiplied by du. All right, and so now we have two terms of u that we can now integrate by using the power rule for integration. 
And the power rule of integration says that we will add one to our exponent and then divide by that new exponent. And so we will have that this is equal to u to the power of five halves, right? If we add one to three halves, we will get five halves. And then we will divide by that new exponent of five halves. Then we will subtract the integral of six times u to the one half power. And so we'll have six times u to the power of three halves, right? We add one to the exponent, so we have three halves, and that will be divided by that new exponent of three halves. And then of course, don't forget your plus c that you need to have at the end of every solution for indefinite integrals like this one. Okay, and so then to simplify, note that dividing by a fraction like five halves or three halves is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of those fractions. Right, so in this case, we have u to the five halves power divided by five halves. That would be the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that fraction, which would be two fifths times u to the five halves power. And then we'll do the same for this term. And so we'll have minus six times two thirds, right? The reciprocal of three halves would be two thirds. And that will be multiplied by u to the three halves power and then plus c. All right, and so then if we clean up our work here, our next step to get our final solution is to replace u in this solution with what we set it equal to. And remember we set u equal to x plus six. And so if we replace each u in our solution with x plus six, we will have our final answer to this integral. And so we will have that this is equal to two fifths times x plus six to the five halves power minus six times two thirds that's just equal to four because six times two is 12 divided by three is four. And so we will have four times x plus six to the three halves power plus c. All right, and so then this solution right here is the final answer to this integral by using u substitution. All right, and so that is how you solve this integral. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. And if you found this video to be helpful or you enjoyed it, feel free to check out some of my other calculus tutorials that you can find on my channel. All right, so that's all I have for now. So I will see you next time.